Hey everyone, just trying to take uh, advantage of some time right now to show you how you're going to get your class syllabus assigned. According to the tech department for the district, you should have your Kami extension on Google Chrome already uploaded and ready to be used. So it's that little K there. Make sure that is visible. If not, press the little extension button and then you're going to find Kami and pin it and make sure it is good to go. So if you are in Math 8 or Math 7, the process is pretty much the same. You're going to start off on my website. You're going to go to Math 8 or Math 7, Class Syllabus, and then you're going to go ahead and download it, pressing this button here. So go ahead and download it, and you could name it whatever you like. I've got some stuff there already. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it, Mario Math 8 Syllabus Online Distance. And again, it could be Math 7 if you like that. You won't get that notification there. It'll be good to go. Okay, so right here, ooh, open. Let me see, where did that go? Where'd that go? Open with Cami. That might even be easier. Look at this, I'm learning something new with you guys as well. All right, so if you haven't already made your signature in Cami, you are gonna have to do that. So for example, we have already talked about this with your students, so you're gonna go ahead and ignore that box there because I'm showing you how to do it from scratch. So we're gonna go ahead and find our text box. So you're gonna go ahead and just put it right there and you're gonna type in your name. So my name is Chris Murillo. And then you're going to need two signatures and correct period here. Let's say period one. Make sure you got that written there as well. All right, so for your signature, it's just down right here, a signature. And if you don't have one yet, you're going to go ahead and either upload an image, draw a signature, draw it on your phone if you're super fancy. So let's see there. It's so going to get my writing tablet, which makes it a little bit easier for me. And again, this is kind of difficult for some students and myself too. My uh, signature is not the greatest, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and scribble it. And I'm going to say upload. And I'm going to insert that one right there because that is the student's signature. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another one. And we're going to go ahead and draw another signature and let's just say that it's mom or dad you're gonna go ahead and do that so I'm gonna be lazy dad but of course you're gonna do your full name there first and last please and then you're gonna go ahead and insert it where it needs to be all right so we have your student's name the correct period we have the student signature and then we have mom or dad or parent parent or guardian whoever is in charge at home gonna have that signature uploaded as well and then when you are done you're simply gonna go ahead and download that and you're gonna go ahead and say with all annotations and you're gonna go ahead and label it with your name so let's say that you are John Smith or some people like LeBron James, whatever your name is. You're going to go ahead and type that in and you're going to go ahead and say, let me see one more time, sorry, John Smith, Mario Syllabus. You can just go ahead and name it simple like that. Go ahead and do a begin export. It's going to do that. That's going to give you a nice PDF version of it. So if you notice, it's the exact same thing like you saw originally, but down here at the bottom, you have your student's name, the period, student signature, and parent signature. So you're going to go ahead and take this file, and you're going to upload that into your Google Classroom so that I have proof that you have your parent signature. Again, we're going to be learning a lot of new tech skills doing our distance learning. Thank you for doing your best, and again, we'll be awesome.